Thank you. Uh, Councilman Johnson? Yes. Councilwoman Arrivas? Yes. Councilman Gesloff? Yes. Thank you. Motion carries 4-0. And now I'll pass the gavel to Mr. Getzoff to uh, to proceed with the Finance Committee. Okay, thank you, Tim. Uh, approval of the minutes of the February uh, 9, 2002 public meeting. Pleasure of the board. So moved, Mr. President. We have a motion. Second. And second, is there any discussion? Hearing on all those in favor, signify by saying aye. No, Rob. Rob. It's got to be roll call. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. Roll call, Mr. Troxel. Councilman Johnson? Yes. Councilwoman Arvanitis? Yes. Councilman Getzloff? Yes. And Councilman Schmidt? Yes. Okay. 4 0. Okay. Um, there is uh, no new business. So oh, there is. Oh, there is. Okay. You can refer to me. Okay. Uh, I will now uh, turn it over to the clerk treasurer, Mike Troxel. Thank you, President Getzloff. Uh, under new business, uh, I, I have a couple items, um, and I, I forward everything to you in your packet regarding uh, these documents here. And uh, the one new item, uh, new business that we want to discuss this evening is the voiding of checks, outstanding checks. Uh, this is an annual item, and under Indiana Code um, 511-10.5 is that any checks that are outstanding over two years old um, and uh, that have not been presented from payment, uh, they're before your action tonight to void them and to add these outstanding checks back into the fund that they were drawn from. Uh, this is the same action we did last year. So these checks are from 2020 um, and ending in December 31st of 2022 is what they were ending. So these checks are outstanding for two years. The, uh, here. Pardon me. Mr. Clerk Treasurer, do you need a motion on that? You know what, I, I, the total of this is $11,551.74. It's a total of these outstanding checks. So yes, I do need a motion in order to uh, have action here to add these back into the fund that they were taken from. Mr. So President, so moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Roll call, Mr. Troxell. Councilman Johnson? Yes. Councilman Arvanitis? Yes. Councilman Getzloff? Yes. Councilman Schmidt? Yes. Motion carries 4-0. Mr. Troxell, go ahead. Thank you, yes. The next item I wanted to uh, go over is the uh, 2022 property tax summary of collections. Uh, under the property tax collections for 2022, uh, we received a total collection a percentage of 99.06% of the property taxes that were due to us. Under the redevelopment property tax collection, we received a total dollar amount of $4,523,496.16. The next item for tax collection for excise tax, we've collected $113,625.12, which out to 206.25% of items that we collected. We've, uh, we estimated what our tax collection would be. We received more. And something on the excise tax, that comes from the um, vehicle license plate tax. And um, our understanding from the state of Indiana, there were quite a few car purchases that were going on in 2022 that allowed us to get more, collect more than we anticipated in our tax questions for the excise tax. And that's also similar to the CVIT, which is the commercial vehicle tax. That also we received $49,474, which is 102.07% of what we anticipated to collect. So a little bit more there. That is the uh, just a report of the summary of collections for 2022. That ends new business. Uh, now we'll have the, you're going to report on debt service? Uh, investments. investments. <clears throat> the, uh, the report on investments for 2022 interest earned was $498,478.70. Uh, 
this is a substantial increase than we had from 2021. 2021, as we all know, during the <coughs> COVID recession, we were coming out of a lot of interest rates were um, were smaller. And last year we collected in 2021, or excuse me, in 2021 we collected 87,121,38 cents. So you know, we've collected over $400,000 more in interest on our monies down here than we did before. So very good interest uh, environment right now for earnings. The, uh, the next uh, item I want to report on is our outlook for 2023. Things are the same in our environment, interest rates. Uh, I do expect us to double what we did in 2022. So I do expect over a million dollars worth of interest earned on a conservative side, interest earned for our uh, money that we have uh, for our town. That's all I have for the investment uh, report. Yes, uh, yeah, I'd like to, Mike, I'd like to compliment your office for uh, staying on top of that. I know I know we went through some, a couple bad years on the COVID and what you've done with the uh, interest earned and watching that closely. Um, and I'm and I'm sure you're in contact with our fi with finance, your finance people and stuff. And, and that's that's a great increase. And you guys should be complimented for that. Well, thank you. And, and every every uh, dollar that we have for our town is being invested and earned interest. So we have everything being earned on that. Thank you, Councilman. Now you're in the debt service. You can report on debt service. Yes. Please. Yes, our, uh, our debt service on long-term debt ending in 2022, we have a principal balance of $28,376,956.86. That's what we have in our uh, long-term debt balance. On our lease agreements payments for 2022, they were $1,431,151.58. And looking forward in 2023, that lease payment amount has dropped down to $658,446.39. Um, we did pay off a couple of leases uh, in 2022, one being, which was considered a lease, was our uh, lease payment for our town hall building here. So that dropped off. We also have some um, emergency equipment lease that also um, dropped off also in 2022. So. All right. That's all I have for the uh, debt service report. All right. Thank you, Mr. Troxel. Welcome. Like uh, Mr. Councilman Schmidt said, very good job. You're welcome. Uh, at this time, I will adjourn this meeting and we will be moving on to the waterworks. I'd like to call the Waterworks Board to meeting uh, for Wednesday, uh, February 8th, 2023. Uh, this uh, water board consists of uh, three people, uh, myself, uh, Councilwoman uh, Robin Arvinitis, and uh, Councilman uh, Kevin Conley, uh, who is not here tonight. Uh, roll call? No, we, we don't have two of the roll calls. I'm sorry to the minutes of the January 18, 2023 public meeting. Second. All those in favor? Um, roll call. Oh, you need to do roll call? Okay. Council, Councilman uh, Arbonitis. Council, Councilman Getzloff. Here. Okay. So we have a motion and a second on the minutes. Any discussion? No discussion? All in favor? Oh, we have roll call. We have to do roll call. No, for, we, no, we did it earlier. Okay. No, I mean uh, in roll call and oh. vote. If it's just uh, council woman Arvinitis and. Well, that's a question for our attorney. Do we need to continue with the roll call vote if the. Uh, we okay. should. Sure. Okay. Thank you. All right, go ahead, uh, Mike. What are we uh, voting on? On uh, minutes. <laughs> we have Councilwoman Arvinitis. Yes. And Councilman Getzloff. Yes. Okay. That's. Uh, Two yeses, uh, two o. Oh, so uh, motion passes. Mm -hmm. uh, claims? No additional claims. All right. Motion to accept claims. Second. 
Okay, for vote is uh, Councilman Arvanitis. Yes. And Councilman uh, Ketzloff. Yes, motion carries 2-0. Mm -hmm. Are there any uh, reports, uh, Jim? No reports. Okay. Robin, do you have anything? There's no old business or new business, so I'll take any business from the floor regarding waterworks, any business from the floor regarding waterworks, any business from the floor regarding waterworks. <clears throat> hearing, one, hearing none, we'll go on to the redevelopment meeting. Good evening. I'd like to call a redevelopment commission meeting for Wednesday, February 8th at approximately 714. Uh, the roll call will add all, uh, all, all the council people back on the roll call. Um, except for Mr. Connolly's absence today. Um, the first item on the agenda is the minutes of the January 18th public meeting. Motion to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second. Uh, roll call, Mr. Troxell. Yeah, uh, Councilman Johnson. Yes. Councilwoman Arvanitis. Yes. Councilman Getzloff. Yes. Councilman Schmidt. Yes. Motion carries 4-0, thank you. Next items, uh, claims, any additional claims, Mr. Trucks? No additional claims, Mr. President. Motion to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second. <laughs> Roll call on claims. Councilman Johnson? Yes. Councilman Arvanitis? Yes. Councilman Getzloff? Yes. Councilman Schmidt? Yes. Motion carries 4-0. Any reports on uh, redevelopment, Mr. Gorman? No reports. Staff members? Any reports on redevelopment? None. Council members? <coughs> None? No report. We have no we, old business. We do have a, I was just going to say, we do have a study session on uh, the Ileana. I don't know if that would fall under reports uh, for redevelopment commission. Announcement. Um, yeah, that, thank you, Mr. Johnson. Yeah, um, what Caleb said is we do have a study session scheduled for February 22nd, uh, two weeks from today. That would be discussing um, a redevelopment on the Ileana project. Um, we have no old business. We have no new business. Is there any business from the floor regarding redevelopment? Any business from the floor regarding redevelopment? No business from the floor. This is meetings adjourned. We'll move right into utility board meeting. I'd like to call the order of the utility board meeting for Wednesday, February 8th, 2023 at 7 17 p.m. The roll call remains the same as the previous meeting with Mr. Conley being absent. First on the agenda would be the minutes of the January 18th, 2023 public meeting. Motion to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second. Roll call is uh, Councilman Johnson. Yes. Councilwoman Arvanitis. Yes. Councilman Getzloff. Yes. And Councilman Schmidt. Yes. Motion carries 4 to 0. On the agenda, we have claims. Mr. Troxel, are there any additional claims? No additional claims, Madam President. So I'll move on claims. Second. Second. We have a motion and a second. Roll call Councilman Johnson. Yes. Councilman Arvanitis. Yes. Councilman Getzloff. Yes. Councilman Schmidt. Yes. Motion carries four to zero. Next on the agenda, we have reports. Are there any staff reports regarding the utility board? No reports. Are there any council member reports? No report, none. Moving on, there is no old business. There is no new business. Is there any business from the floor regarding the utility board? <laughs> any business from the floor? Seeing and uh, hearing none. Oh. Madam, Madam President, uh, maybe Mr. Hansen or Mr. Nandoff, there, there is a utility <laughs> announcement that's out on, on the web about the closure of 77th, is that still going on uh, on the Dyer side? Uh, it'll be coming up on the Sherville side on February 14th and 15th for NIPSCO to finish the remaining work on the high transmission lines between US 41 and St. John Road. And, and from, what I from what I read though, they're also going from Calumet Avenue all the way to St. John Road? Yes. Thank you. No business from the floor. This meeting is adjourned. Good evening. I'd like to call the town council meeting for Wednesday, February 8th at approximately 719 PM. The roll call will stay the same as the utility board. 
uh, with Mr. Uh, Conley absent and um, Mr. Johnson uh, remotely. Um, first item on the agenda is the minutes from the January 18th meeting. Motion to approve. So moved. Second. We have a motion, we have a second. Uh, roll call on the minutes, Mr. Johnson. Councilman Johnson? Yes. Councilman Overnitis? Yes. Councilman Getzloff? Yes. Councilman Schmidt? Yes. Motion carries 4 0. Thank you. Next item, uh, any additional claims, Mr. Troxel? No additional claims, Mr. President. So moved. Second. We have a motion. We have a second. Roll call on claims. Councilman Johnson? Yes. Councilman Arbonitis? Yes. Councilman Getzloff? Yes. Councilman Schmidt? Yes. Motion carries 4 0 on claims. Thank you. Uh, reports. Uh, I'll start to my left. Uh, Chief Patterson? No reports. Uh, Assistant Chief Mr. Meyer? Nothing to report. Deputy Chief Steve McMeyer? No reports. Our Parks to Superintendent John Novosich? Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I've put on your, um, by your packets, a magnet with the events for this year. We have um, at least two events every month throughout the year. Uh, our next events could be the Health and Wellness Fair Thursday, the uh, 23rd from 3 to 6 at the Community Center, and that's free to the public. There's also um, kind of highlights from, nine, uh, from 2022 that's got the different uh, facility improvements that we did, as well as some information on our programs and events. So if you look that over at your leisure and have questions, please let me know. Thanks. Thank you, Ms. Uh, John, uh, is those magnets available uh, for residents to buy or pick up at the Park Center? The magnets that we have, um, if someone wanted to come pick one up at the community center, they can. We don't. Uh, we weren't planning on selling the magnets. We were going to distribute some to the chamber, some to uh, different departments, and then to the public. I don't know how many we have actually, probably a couple hundred left. Okay, thank you. Moving on, uh, town engineer Neil Simpson. No reports, Mr. President. Public Works, Chad. No reports. Andy, operations? Mr. Gorman. No reports. No reports. Um, I, 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 I know I missed this uh, earlier on our redevelopment. I want to recognize that our Nicole Kelly's our uh, representative from the school board from our redevelopment. She was in the audience uh, for redevelopment. We didn't have any issues on the redevelopment page, but I wanted to recognize that she was here. Thank you. Next item is public comments regarding agenda items. Is there any public comments regarding uh, agenda items? Please step, step up and your name and address. Yes, hi, uh, my name is Matt Merslock. Um, address is 2903 Morningside Drive. Um, I wanted to uh, take a moment to introduce myself to you all. Um, my name is, I'm wanting to talk about the agenda item B, the Planning Commission appointment. Um, I recently put my application in for that, uh, for that opportunity, for that appointment. And I wanted to take this opportunity just to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, some of you might know me, uh, some of you, might not, um, but I grew up in Plum Creek. Uh, my parents moved there. I moved there with my parents when I was three, and we lived there until me and my wife got married. And at that point in time, we moved out to Portage. Um, parents and grandparents still do live in Plum Creek, um, and my wife's parents are from Griffith. Uh, so while we were living out there, we wanted to get closer to our family. So we uh, made the decision to move back to Cherville. And currently we live in uh, the woods, which is the subdivision that borders Rorman. Um, so some of you might know me from the Ileana uh, uh, issues that uh, I've been pretty vocal about. Um, but um, we, uh, we, so we currently live there. Um, we have an 11 year old daughter. She uh, is currently at Clark Middle School. She's a sixth grader. Um, up until uh, this, this year, she was at St. Mike's and she went to school there from preschool to fifth grade. Um, but she's very active uh, in dance, and she wants to dance for Lake Central and for Clark Middle School, so we made the decision to move her to Clark. Um, my wife and I are pretty active in the town, 
Uh, my wife uh, was a Girl Scout troop leader for six years. Um, she also was a cheer coach for two. Um, and then I also was a fifth grade coach for my daughter last year. And to be honest, I probably would have continued coaching for her if she stayed at St. Mike's. Um, but, uh, but I was also active in a lot of the fundraisers for St. Mike's as well. Um, they have a couple of fundraisers, fundraisers throughout the years, um, throughout the year, and I was on a couple of their committees. Um, just a little bit about me and my education. Uh, I went to Purdue uh, Calumet, um, the one here in Hammond. I have a uh, bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering, and a, I also have a MBA from Indiana Wesleyan. Um, when I graduated, I went to work for U.S. Steel, and I worked out at Gary Works for three or four years. And then I left there and I'm working for the company, or I went to work for the company I currently work for now. Um, it's a company based out of Cincinnati and I service the steel industry. And I've been doing this for 15 years. Um, so I'm a, I'm a sales engineer, that's my, my title. Um, but like I said, I wanted to just take this opportunity to introduce myself, tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I'm actually really excited about this opportunity. So I was hoping that uh, you guys would grant me this, this opportunity. So. Um, I guess with that, uh, I'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have about myself. Questions? No, thank Not? you. Thank you. Okay, thank, thank, thank you, you for Matt. your time. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. Next item is old business. Uh, uh, item A is a point Calumet River Basin Development Commission Advisory Board member. This was deferred from a January 18, 2023 meeting. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, yes, Jim. I had reached out to the uh, previous board member and notified him the fact that we we're uh, going to appoint someone else to that to that member board. And I thanked him for his service. He was very understanding of it, and he realizes that uh, the choice that you guys may appoint that we talked about um, was a good choice. Thank you, Jim. A motion to approve, a motion to have Jeff Hewitt replace um, and be appointed to the Little Calumet River Basin Development Commission Advisory Board, deferred from the January 18th, 2023 meeting. Councilman Johnson? Yes. Councilman Bernardinitis? Yes. Councilman Getzloff? Yes. Councilman Schmidt? Motion carries 4 0. And Mr. Hewitt's in the audience. We appreciate your service, Jeff. Next item on the agenda, we move right into new business. Item A is resolution 2023 1, a resolution authorizing entry into a joint interlocal cooperation agreement with another participating unit of local government for the Sunset Boulevard storm dash water drainage and detention project in all matters. Related thereto, um, Mr. Gorman or Mr. Nandor for. Thank you, Mr. President. Yeah, this is a resolution to enter into a JICA with the uh, Little Calumet River Basin Commission. Um, they are participating in a project, the Sunset Project, and um, this is an 80-20 split. The uh, estimated cost of that project is uh, roughly 400 and. $25,000, so we'll be getting 80% of that, and we would contribute the other 20. Thank you, Mr. Gorman. You're welcome. Uh, motion to approve resolution 2023-1. Um, we have a motion. I, I want to make one kind. Any comments from any staff members? Neil, do you have any comments on that? No, Jim handled that very well. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. We have a motion. Second. We have a motion and a second. Roll call on resolution 2023-1, Mr. Troxel. Councilman Johnson? Yes. Councilwoman Arvanitis? Yes. Councilman Getzloff? Yes. Councilman Schmidt? Yes. Thank you. Motion carries 4-0. Item B, appoint planning commission member replacing a resigning member. Um, and we have a resignation from um, Mr. Drew Thomas, and we want to thank Mr. Thomas for all the years of service. Drew was on our planning commission for many years, uh, probably 
seven to seven, eight, nine years. And uh, he withdrew recently and we have an appointment to make on that. Mr. Chairman. Yes. I would like to uh, nominate Robert Kokan for that uh, replacement. I have a motion. We have a second um, to appoint to plant Mr. Robert Kokan replacing the resigning member. Uh, his, his term will expire on December 31st, 2024. Uh, roll call, Mr. Troxell. Councilman Johnson. No. Councilwoman Arvanitis. Yes. Councilman Getzloff. Yes. Councilman Schmidt. Yes. Motion carries 3-1. Thank you. Item C is the Ward Road Materials bid. Uh, Mr. Nondorf? Yes, this is a uh, yearly uh, bid package for road materials for the Public Works Department consisting of poured in place concrete, stone, sand, gravel, black dirt, uh, in-house concrete disposal, as well as small asphalt patchwork. I'm looking for your consideration uh, for this package. Uh, Mr. Austin, does he need to read off the companies for each one of them categories? He should for the public record and transparency's sake. Okay. Um, for the poured in place concrete, Colby and Company uh, was the cheapest at $10.50 a square foot. For the stone, sand, gravel, and black dirt, William Walters was the cheapest at $23.25 a ton. Um, for concrete disposal, um, it was uh, um, milestone at um, various prices. It depended on the size of the truckload. And for the in-house paving, Wreath Riley was the lowest for the small patchwork. And milestone was the lowest for any of the public works paving that we do in-house with our crews. Okay, Mr. President. I suggest that you uh, ask Mr. Nondorf if he could substitute the word cheapest for the phrase lowest responsive and responsible bidder. There you go, lowest responsible bidder. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Nondorf, Th welcome. and thanks for the report. Uh, we, we got the full report in front of us here. Uh, motion to approve. Second. We have a motion, we have a second. Roll call, Mr. Troxell. Councilman Johnson. Yes. Councilman Arvanitis? Yes. Councilman Getzloff? Yes. Councilman Schmidt? Yes. Motion carries 4 0. Thank you. Item D is consider approval of an amendment to the joint interlocal uh, cooperation agreement between the town of St. John, Lake County, Indiana, and Lake County, Indiana for the 85th new improvements. This is actually a decrease from $180,000 to 172515 dollars 8 Mr. Gorman. Thank you, Mr. President. This is an amendment to the existing uh, JICA, the joint interlocal agreement between uh, the town of St. John and uh, Lake County. And, uh, just as you mentioned, it came in under what the estimate so we didn't have to pay as much as we originally agreed to pay. Uh, Mr. Gorman, is that project done? It is done and it is paid for. Completely? Yes. Striping included? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Motion to approve. Second. We have a motion. We have a second. Roll call, Mr. Troxell. Councilman Johnson. Yes. Councilman Arvanitis. Yes. Councilman Getzloff. Yes. Councilman Schmidt. Yes. Motion carries 4 0. Thank you. Item E is consider approval to purchase property at 517 Kennedy Avenue, Sherville, Indiana, which is parcel 8 from Jeb Shookman in the amount of $240,000 and to authorize the town manager, director of operations, clerk treasurer, and town attorney to finalize the execution of documents. This has to do with our Kennedy Avenue improvement project. Mr. Gorman. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, this property that was purchased on the northeast side of the tracks on Kennedy Avenue, it's part of the INDOT tracks project phase one. Um, and up on the screen, it's the purple colored property um, on the right hand side there, Kennedy Avenue. This is for that bridge overpass that's gonna be coming in the next couple of years. 
Okay. Thank you. Motion to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second. Roll call, Mr. Traxel. Councilman Johnson. Yes. Councilwoman Arbonitis. Yes. Councilman Getzloff. Yes. Councilman Schmidt. Yes. Motion carries 4 0. Thank you. Item F is uh, consider approval to purchase property located at 439 Kennedy Avenue, Cheryl, Indiana, parcel 11 from William R. and Ramona A. Jarvis in the amount of $23,000 and to authorize the town manager, director of operations, clerk, treasurer, and town attorney to finalize the execution of these documents. This once again is, uh, is a piece of land on the Kennedy Avenue improvement project. Mr. Gorman. Thank you, Mr. President. This is also on the northeast side of the tracks. Um, it is that small purple property right along Kennedy Avenue on the north side of Sherland. It's for right away only. It's above that red box on the other side of the street. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gorman. Motion to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second. Uh, roll call, Mr. Discussion. Uh, yes. I have, a, I have a question, Mr. Gorman. Is this the appraised uh, amount? It is. Thank you. You're welcome. We have no a motion. discussion. We have a motion. We have a second on the floor. Roll call, Mr. Troxel. Councilman Johnson. Yes. Councilman Arbonitis. Yes. Councilman Getzloff. Yes. Councilman Schmidt. Yes. Motion carries 4 0. Thank you. Item G is consider acceptance of Nice engineering contract, our town engineer. Thank you, Mr. President. This is the yearly contract for engineering services, which you guys um, awarded that contract to um, Nice engineering at the end of last year. And this is the same contract as last year. It, it does have a slight increase in some of the some of the prices. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gorman. Motion, motion to, approve. to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second. Roll call, Mr. Troxel. Councilman Johnson. Yes. Councilwoman Arbonitis. Yes. Councilman Getzloff. Yes. Councilman Schmidt. Yes. Motion carries 4 0. Thank you. Item H is consider appointments to the Park Impact Fee Committee with the following recommendations. David Ingenberg, a shareable business owner of Fleet Feet and Aquatics. Annie Hansen, our shareable director of operations. Gina Mussolini. Mussolino, mm -hmm. who is a realtor for Caldwell Banker's shareable office. Bob Ferrison, a Pebble Book Builder. And Janine Quigley, a shareable business owner, Ardon. Um, Mr. Gorman, you want to explain this or? Sure. Uh, this is a committee that's put together every five years to review the park impact fees. Um, it is required that two of these uh, appointments are uh, have some part of real estate. And um, these members are not compensated and they only meet about three or four times within that five year period. If I'm, if, if I understood John correctly. Uh, John, do you have any comment? Should mention it's an advisory committee. Um, statute requires that the study gets done every five years and the governing body would have to appoint the uh, members to the committee. They should be meeting approximately three to four times during this process, which uh, would like to start um, the end of this month or early March and conclude in June and have that uh, study done, the recommendation for the plan commission and then uh, hopefully recommendation from the plan commission to the council to amend the ordinance. And Mr. Novosich, you'll be working with this committee? Yes, we'll be working at, um, with the uh, consultant, the Irish group to, to study together. Currently working on some of the uh, data right now. Forgive my ignorance, but do all of the members of this uh, advisory committee have to be residents of Shareville or just business owners in Shareville? No, they either have to be in town or um, be connected with the town through employment. So they do not have to be residents? Correct. 
Motion to approve. Second. We have a motion. We have a second. Uh, roll call, Mr. Troxell. Councilman Johnson. I'm not sure how to vote on it. I don't know all of these individuals. I'm going to, I guess, abstain. Okay, what abstention? We have a Councilman Arvid Yes. Councilman Getzloff? Yes. Councilman Schmidt? Yes. Motion carries three with one abstain. Item I is consider acceptance of donations of $1,490. Mr. Troxell, would you like to read the donations? Yes, I can. Uh, we have donation to the uh, animal. These are donations through January. We received an animal control. We have two donations, one from Victoria Mosca for $25 and one from Irene Bakken. Five dollars for a total of ninety dollars to animal control to the police canine fund. We have one donation from Linda Wittstrand, two hundred dollars. The police equipment fund, one donation from Linda Wittstrand, two hundred dollars. And to the promotion fund, we have from Diane Horar in memory of Jerry Horar, flowers on our poles, one thousand dollars. Total donations for the month of January total one thousand four hundred ninety dollars. So moved. Second. We have a motion. We have a second on donations. Uh, roll call. Councilman Johnson. Yes. Councilwoman Arvanitis. Yes. Councilman Getzloff. Yes. Councilman Schmidt. Yes. Motion carries four zero. Thank you. At this time, uh, we'll take any business from the floor. Any business from the floor. Any business from the floor? No business. This meeting is adjourned. Thank you very much.